Okay, so today we're going to talk about installing the two different domes that we have. Um, we have a couple of different versions of the dome, the Dome 120 and the Dome 180. There's lots of uh, other points on our website where you can find information about the pros and cons of both. And they both fit all cameras and all lenses. So you can use either of them, uh, but I'm gonna be installing both of them today so that you can see the differences in the installation process. So for the Dome 120, I'm going to be installing it on a 1635 F4 lens, which has a uh, 72 filter thread size. And so for this dome, I'm going to be using an adapter that has a thread size, okay? So that adapter is already on here, and the lenses that have filter threads are simple in that the adapter connects to the Altex dome, and then it just threads on to the lens just like our flat ports would. So for the threaded lenses, it's pretty easy because the domes already have a built-in uh, adapter and it would fit just like any other flat port. So you, the dome kits come with the adapter. You just select the size you want or you tell us which lens you're buying it for and we'll provide the adapter that you need with your kit or you can buy them separately. And then that installs into the dome. So it's an interchangeable part that you can take on and off and it will fit on all lenses and then you just install like any other flat glass Altex front element would install. So it threads onto your lens and it becomes one with the camera. Once you get the cover on, the seal mechanism is the same. So you would unthread the outer element. The lip of the cover comes on to the outer rim of the inner portion and then the washer goes on and the outer thread creates the seal. Okay? So the Dome 120 is slightly different than the Dome 180, which is a little more complicated because of its size. So this one is pretty simple. It works very much like a flat port. With the Dome 180, which I have here, the, the system and the idea is the same. We have threaded adapters and we have clamps. And these are modular, meaning you can buy them separately, and one already comes with your kit, and you just uh, fit them in, so you unscrew them on and off. And in the case of an unthreaded lens, like this one, uh, which is a 1224, which has a hood that is not removable, or a fisheye, for example, that clamp would go on the outside and it fits just right so that it creates an anchoring point and that's what secures it to the lens. And so I already have a clamp connected to the inside of this dome 180 right here. And then with it, you get an Allen wrench. And so once I adjust it to the lens, I will tighten the clamp so you kind of get it where you want it to be, and then you tighten it. So it's secure onto the lens. And we have different clamp sizes, and we make them over time so that as new manufacturers launch new lenses, we will also launch new clamps and new adapters. And we support all lenses, as I mentioned. So now let's talk about installation. So obviously, we're going to take this lens out and we're going to put it onto the camera. Okay. Then what we want to do now is, let me take this part out. Get it nice and clean on the inside. And this is the part that I already have here. So I duplicated that for the sake of speed. You'll notice that there's an inner O-ring 
because with the Dome 180, there are actually two seals. And because of the size, because you couldn't just do it with your hands, um, we've modified the uh, install process. And so the way this works is that once this inner part goes in, this ring comes off. And so this works just like the washer and the outer ring of the Altex system. You would install the cover. The cover would sit on this inner lip, just like the rest of our system. Then this washer would rest on top of it. This part creates the seal for the cover. And because of the size, not everybody has big hands. We also provide a wrench. And you'll notice that there are um, crevices here that the wrench can adapt to. And this could help as a leveraging point for you to tighten the seal, okay? So that creates the first seal. Then the rear portion of the uh, lens goes on from the back. So you'll want to have that on first. The dome goes on. And then the rear element goes in last. So you'll want to rest it upside down. And then this threads in from the back. So it's a two seal installation process. So obviously it's a little more complex than the regular system. But again, we try to apply the simplicity and the modularity uh, that you'll see with the rest of the system. They're interchangeable, they're modular. And again, we provide two wrenches so that you can use your hands in, in conjunction with the wrench so that one holds it in place and the other one can create the tightening for the seal. Okay? So I'll do one real quick also with the uh, cover so that you can see it with the cover. Okay, so now that I've gotten my clamp onto my lens, I've adjusted the clamp screw to tighten it against the hood to get it exactly where I want it. I'm going to do a slightly different installation. Normally I would put the lens in first, but for this one, uh, I'll start it from the back. The other thing you can do, actually, let me do it this way. camera in. And then I can roll this back. into place and now I can roll it back I'm gonna take I can use the wrench provided to unthread the piece that creates the seal so this is just like our other front and rear elements. You have got the washer and the part that provides the seal. I'm going now to bring the cover to the lip of this inner part, just like I would on the rest of the system. And just like everything else, I want to line it up as evenly as possible to create an even pressure 
surface when I'm threading it back on. So I've got it lined up well. And this is the trick, you want to get the rear component in first, so you get that on there. Now, same thing, this has a female lip, and you insert it, and then this front element will create the front seal, and this is the seal onto the housing itself, and you can tighten it by hand until you get it nice and tight. And then you can also hold with one hand and use the wrench for an extra little leverage. So you can pull that even a little tighter. And now that that part is already on, there's an O-ring already inside this crease. And we'll make sure that the glass is nice and clean. That goes on, and now that piece comes from the back. I can hold it with both hands to flip it. And now the same thing. I'm threading from the back, and I can do it by hand until it's nice and tight. And then you can use the provided wrenches one will hold it in place and the other will help you tighten it. So you can just create an extra tight seal. And you're good to go. So obviously the back now plate would go on. So the rest of the installation is the same. Uh, so I think most people are already familiar with that. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, check uh, our questions page on the website or drop us a line, give us a call and uh, go from there.